ones I've got you out here, and the light's good. I thought I would show quickly um, my method of getting the pattern onto the onto the bamboo. And <clears throat> you can see I've got a lot of little papers of designs and things here. Some of them in various stages of being cut out. Uh, but what I what I like to do is I'll uh, I'll usually go through and sketch some ideas. Uh, in this case. Uh, this is an, one idea that I was working on for the Lord of Small Horses piece. Um, and that's just to get a rough idea of the dimensions of, of the, the general design. And then I'll take this and I'll scan it or take a photograph and go in, uh, into a man, image manipulation software such as Photoshop or GIMP or uh, Inkscape in this case. Uh, it worked really well. And uh, this just makes it easier to uh, come up with a nice, clear, clean design <clears throat> that I can make multiple copies off of in case of mistakes. Uh, and also it allows for uh, uh, collaboration and communication, easy communication between myself and my client. Uh, and so once my cl the client and I come to an agreement on what design and what pattern they're looking for for their cup, or for whatever their piece may be. Uh, then I'll, I'll finalize it and take it to the print shop and print everything out to scale uh, that I'm looking for. Okay, so the Lord of Small Horses. This one is for my cousin's husband. Uh, and the Lord of the Small Horses. The Lord of Small Horses was the nickname that he got in college, I believe story that I'm hearing and uh, because he took care of miniature horses my first thought was uh, oh my little pony that would be hilarious but because that's because I'm kind of an asshole um, but eventually we came to this design which I'm quite happy of it looks somewhat like a coat of arms and it should hopefully it'll be appreciated I believe it's a surprise, so shh. All right, well, what I'm going to do is I like to take uh, usually an EE pencil or a charcoal pencil of some kind just because it gets the dust. I'm going to make a carbon paper out of my design here. I'm just on the back, I'm just going to go through and just scribble onto the back. And apparently, I'm either out of masking tape, or I've misplaced it, and put it somewhere stupid. That's okay. It's not the most important thing. Any tape will do. Just uh, packing tape can work. I just don't want to... There we go. I just like the, the masking tape because it was a bit thinner and the adhesive is not so strong but it's, I don't have any paint or anything on the cups right now anyway so it doesn't really matter. Now I have to go buy some. It's going to bother me for the rest of the day. Drat. Alright, so now I just have to figure out which one was Rob's. This one is the astronomer. This one. This one's the I Ching. And this one is the Lord of Small Horses. I like to keep track of which one's which as I'm working on it. Uh, this one's very beginning of the uh, from the very from the beginning to the end. Each piece has the has a person that it's intended for in mind. All right, so what I want to do here is actually f choose the the area 
um, with the grain. There are various grain, uh, very, they're grain, ah, start over. There are variations within the grain that you can see having come out a bit after having sanded it and shaved it down. And uh, you can really see it starting to pop out. This will show up immensely once it's finished, uh, either with a lacquer or in this case it's going to be a resin. <clears throat> uh, but it really, really should, has an interesting depth to it. And then there are some little imperfections and things in, inside the grain, little areas where the grain actually uh, twists and turns a little bit. And I, I like to keep those in because it just adds to the character of the, of the piece. Now I think, I kind of like the way that looks here. I believe this is going to be the front area. I also take it like the area. There we go. There's the side. I'd like to take into consideration the shape of the cup when it's held. Where where is the best place for the design? Show it off. just a simple <coughs> matter of taking a number two pencil and tracing the design onto the cup. I don't want my chair for that.
that'll be the next video.